Well, Wish TV is Indiana's education station. Station, rather. One in five students in our state are chronically absent from school. And now there's a bill on the governor's desk meant to change that. The bill requires every school to develop an intervention plan for chronically absent students. News 8's government reporter Garrett Bergquist explains how it would work. Education groups say they largely support the bill because it emphasizes addressing the root causes of a student's absenteeism. According to state data, roughly one in five Indiana students were chronically absent during the 2022 to 2023 school year. The numbers were even higher for black or Hispanic students and students eligible for free or reduced lunch. The U.S. Department of Education says students who are chronically absent for one year are up to seven times more likely to drop out. So to address some of the comments on, you know, we're, we're going get, to get them to the prosecutor as fast as possible, actually the bill is designed to try to avoid that at all costs. The bill requires every public school to develop a truancy prevention policy beginning with the 2024 to 2025 school year. It applies to both traditional public schools and charter schools. If a student has five or more days of unexcused absences within a 10-week period, schools would have to notify parents in writing and schedule an attendance conference with them. They would have to work together on a plan to improve the student's attendance, including any wraparound services they need. Education advocates say that could include tutoring, for example. If we want to be um, really diligent in making a difference, we have to get to the root causes and then begin to help that young person move through whatever problems or obstacles they're having that is causing them to miss school. School attendance officers also would have to report chronically absent students to juvenile court or child services. That's something current law already requires. Lawmakers say the bill requires any truancy policies to include that. They say in practice, criminal prosecutions for truancy are rare. Gamble says schools in the past have struggled to bring together all the pieces needed to effectively combat chronic absenteeism. He says the bill ensures schools have a single standard to follow. I hope that uh, the, the schools and the families will uh, look at this as the legislator want, legislature wanting to forge a, a partnership with home and school in helping to solve these problems. Right now, the bill only applies to students in grades K through 6. Legislators say they might revisit expanding the law to apply to older grades in the future. At the State House, I'm Garrett Bergquist for Wish TV. WishTV.com or follow us on Facebook for updates.